Welcome back everybody to our studies in Kantian ethics. Now, specifically, this is part of our broader series in the area of normative ethics. And what we're going to do in this lesson is take an introduction to Kantian ethics, specifically looking at the, the, the nature of, of Kantian ethics, some of the basic principles of Kant's normative theory, as well as some of the implications therein uh, that we will look at as time goes on. So things, for example, like his categorical imperative is something that we will explore as time goes on in far more detail. So the subject and the lessons on Kantian ethics are going to essentially make up the next the next three or four lessons, the next three or four videos. In previous lessons, what we did was take an introduction to some of the basic principles and some of the basic theories of normative ethics. This lesson is going to start to unpack the concepts of the variety of ethical theories that we are going to be exploring. So we're going to be spending a lot of our time, for example, talking about Kantian ethics and deontology. We're going to spend a lot of our time talking about consequentialism and utilitarianism, and we will spend some time talking about virtue ethics, Aristotelian ethics as well. So, Immanuel Kant's normative ethical theories are primarily encapsulated in a framework that is known to be deontological. So, deontology is less of a normative ethical theory in and of itself, a specific theory, more of a category of theories. Just like how you have, for example, consequentialism as being a broad category of normative ethical theory. And then within consequentialism, you have things like uh, act and rule utilitarianism as being sort of subsets of consequentialist ethical theories. So too is Kantian ethics within the broader concept of deontological frameworks. There is a focus on the inherent rightness or wrongness of actions themselves rather than their consequences. So essentially, deontology stands in stark contrast to the idea of consequentialism. Rather than their consequences, we are talking about the actions themselves. And so when we look at things like utilitarianism, we see that Kantian ethics stands almost in direct contrast to utilitarianism in the sense that, and in the same sense that, deontology stands in direct contrast to that of consequentialism. So when it comes to uh, utilitarianism, I, I apologize, utilitarianism, we think about actions and the evaluations of morality of actions on the basis of their outcomes rather than the basis of their inherent morality in and of themselves. And so things like deontology are very important to Immanuel Kant and to his ethical theories. And an, or, an additional thing that is very important to Kantian ethics is this idea known as human irrationality. Here what Kant does is emphasise the autonomy of rational beings as the foundation of morality. Uh, and so fundamentally from here, if you were to ask where does Kantian deontological principles derive its foundations, you would speak about rational agency, autonomy of humanity and rationality of humanity. Autonomy, specifically according to Kant, refers to the capacity for a certain degree of self-governance, in addition to the ability to act according to the principle that one gives oneself. So if I was to, uh, if I was to apply my own ethical principles and standards, I am autonomous in the sense that I am able to firstly create these principles for oneself, but I'm also autonomous in the sense that I am able to act according to those principles free of any kind of external constraint. Moral duties, on the other hand, according to Kant, are derived from rational principles, that all rational beings, uh, such as, for example, autonomous agents, are capable of both recognising and also applying from a universal perspective. So this slide here really encapsulates, in my opinion, the foundations of Kantian deontological ethics, and it is from here that we can start to build on a number of different principles. 
and we will look at these principles in far more detail as we go on looking in future lessons of time. But for now, let's just think about what Kant's legacy looks like in terms of his ethics. For, for Kant's ethical theories, um, they generally have had a very profound influence on moral philosophy and continue to be a very, very prominent cornerstone when it comes to the discussions on things like ethics, in, particularly, in particular sorry, uh, fields like, uh, like law, politics and bioethics. He emphasises this idea of human dignity and autonomy but he also emphasizes a principle of universability universalization this is the universability of moral principles and this is what we're going to look at when we look at his ca categorical imperative in future lessons time but this really resonates with his ethical theory this idea one of his maxims one of the main uh, principles of his categorical imperative is this idea that we can universalize moral principles and that this shapes debates relating to human rights to justice and to ethical responsibility